G'day guys, my name is Jeff Quattromani. I'm going to do another NFC demonstration for you. Previously I did one just on the uh, the BlackBerry NFC tags that I received on the phone, so make sure you check that out if you haven't watched already. Um, but what I want to show you today is something else, is not just what these tags do, but how they're created. Now, I got in touch with a company called Chipwave. Um, their web address is chipwave.co. And, uh, and they were able to help me out with some with some kit. Now what that included was um, NFC chips like this one, uh, stickable ones, uh, little strip style ones as well. And I learned a lot that there isn't just one type of NFC chip, which is interesting. Um, just to give you an overview of the chips, this one here, the MyFair Classic 1K, um, it is just a label looking strip. If you look really close, which you won't tell on video, but you can actually see the uh, the the chip inside it when you hold it up to light. Um, it's about 716 bytes um, of data that it can hold and um, I actually couldn't get this one to read on my, my BlackBerry 9900. It wouldn't scan at all. Um, looking at this one, the MyFair Ultra Light, um, it looks like a you know, 3M, it's got like a little label, looks like a simple sticker. Um, this one could be read on the 9900 without a problem. Um, only holds about 46 bytes, so it's a little bit less um, really simple sort of tag that you could use. This uh, slightly larger one is actually the same format as, as this one. It's a MyFair Ultralight C. Um, now this one holds 137 bytes, and this one seems to scan perfectly every time. Same as when I use this one. They just scan perfect on the, uh, on the BlackBerry, which is awesome. And you know you can really see where things are going to go. Now um, I'm going to run through the software as well because I also got sent a uh, a reader writer. So what this can do is, um, you know, when you apply the tag on, you'll see it. Uh, it'll actually read the the tag, and you can write data to it and program it. Um, and that's really really interesting. And one of the things I'll show in the software now is um, is just how it all works. So let me uh, let me get this started. So I'm going to apply a uh, I'm going to apply a tag onto onto the reader, and you'll see it's picked it up, and you'll see my fair ultralight, the 46 bytes, and um, that's the uh, that's the reader name. So I'm just going to go to write tag, and you'll see straight away all the different things you can do: website, uh, sample emails, so ready to go emails, uh, a phone number, an SMS. Um, you know, put your name, put a half a body in there, just simple plain text messaging, full contact cards, so there goes the business cards, no more business cards, you'll be giving out um, or even just showing a business card with a built-in NFC chip with all this data programmed. Smart posters, which is like what we saw on that BlackBerry tag, being searched, so apply some uh, keywords ready to go for Google as well, your LinkedIn profile, your Facebook profile, your Twitter profile, and Google Maps. So if you're looking for directions, have a pre-programmed into the chip. Now let's program this one, just program it as my website, type in the web address. I don't want to make it permanent because I want to reuse it. Hit right tag, and that's it. It's done. You'll see that the tag is reading as the website now and you'll see how much data it's taken up on the tag as well. So super, super simple. That tag is now ready to go. So what happens now is, if I put it down, there it is, it's read the, uh, it's read the tag straight away. There's the URL, I can hit view and open link and it will take me to the website. So that's a really, really simple example of what you could do. You could make it a web link to a, to a download, like a PDF or a brochure as well for marketing materials. Um, you know, you could really make that link whatever you like. It could be a link to anything that you want, obviously. And I really think that's, that's going to be very interesting to see what they do with that. For marketing purposes, you can just imagine what these, what these tags are going to be able to do. You can stick that to anything. And same thing with the, um, with the larger chips. You can embed them into anything you like. And obviously, with these smaller labels, it's just incredible what, 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 what the future is going to hold for these NFC chips. Well, there you go. That's really that's really the whole gist of it. You can really see what these um, these NFC chips are capable of. There's so many things you can program them to do, and you know more and more phones are getting these uh, readers built in as well. So it is going to boom. I think about 35 million NFC enabled mobile devices shipped in 2011. In 2012, you know it's going to blow up as well. It's going to be huge. So this is really where things are going. Um, You've now had a look at how it all works. If you're interested, get on, go on to chipwave.co and, and purchase one of their, um, their readers and have a play with these tags. I mean, it's so simple to do. 
I've shown you a quick demo of it. Check it out, you know, get in touch with them or, um, you know, ask me if you've got any questions as well and we'll see what I can do, but ask the experts, they're better at it. So, yeah, thank you very much and uh, thank you to Chipwave for letting me use their gear as well. Thanks, guys. Sorry, real quick, just before I uh, before I wrap up this whole video, um, one thing I wanted to mention was the fact that my that my BlackBerry could not read um, one of those tags. For me, is a real concern. NFC is not standards based. You do not have a standard NFC tag. I mentioned uh, those those different models that you have. They have different style chips inside them, and my biggest worry is that we're going to have a world where, oh, here's your NFC tag. Oh, you've got this device, or oh, you've got that device that actually won't work. They need to standardize the readers and they need to standardize the chip styles as well because yes it's great to have different sizes and shapes and things like that and it's great to have different models of phones but if they can't talk to each other we have huge problems because when I go into a store and I'm going to you know scan something for the brochure or I want to scan a smart poster if it doesn't work the adoption's gone it needs to be standardized so you may not know about it, um, I'm just letting you know, for me it's a huge concern, I really want NFC to work because I think it's got massive potential, but unless it's standards based and we know that it's going to work for everybody, that's going to be a huge issue. I'm done. Thank you again.